right, so what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down below in the description box. Okay. All right, Cancer. What I'm getting here is right off the bat that you walked away. Okay. You're, you've emotionally detached from this person here. You found the emotional strength and you walked away from this person. This person here seems to have a reality check. Okay. Maybe this person was living in the dream world. I'm getting here someone who had to make a choice. Okay. This person here had to make a choice out. You know, pick your size. Okay. You could definitely be the person on this side and this could definitely be the person that uh, you're dealing with. Okay. Just pick and choose how it resonates. Right now, there is a lack of commitment here, okay? There's a lack of stability, security, and commitment between you both, okay? Something's just not getting into fruition here. Um, I feel like you're both at the end of the cycle out here, okay? So it's like either the marriage or the commitment happens or it doesn't happen at all and you walk away and that's exactly what's happening you're walking away because there is no stability here but the seven of cups in reverse here i feel this person out here thought they had like forever to take to pick and choose what they wanted maybe they had a lot of options here but this person out here seemed to be someone you know who was taking their own sweet time to make a decision about you okay and uh, I think you waited for this person for a very long time to pick you to make a choice you know or to just let you know what they really really wanted with you Okay. but I feel that they didn't do that and you had like no choice but to walk away from this person out here I feel this person here um, could have had a lot of distractions also okay uh, but we'll clarify that I feel um, you view this person as someone who you don't want drama with okay i feel you've let this thing go because there was too much of chaos too much of uh, conflicts and too much of um you know uh, bickering and arguments between you both you guys were just not getting on the same page uh, there could have been a lot of interference from other people also between you both and you were like you know what screw it i can't do this anymore so yeah you just like walked away from this conflict out here you either this person had too many options and they put you in a place where you always had to compete for their attention or compete for you know uh being holding a spot in their life so you just gave up you're no longer wanting to fight for this this person with the six of pentacles here this person probably views you as someone who uh, is a giver you know you're someone here who is a giver who's very very generous okay uh this person here could be seeing you as someone here, you know who they would want commitment with also so they do view you as someone who's probably very generous all right and very supportive very giving you know and uh more like um a very supportive lover that's how they view you and i guess now they regret losing you ace of cups in reverse is the mutual energy which means both of you all are shut down emotionally both of you all uh, are probably holding a grudge but you all had a very rough patch in your life okay both of you are here i feel you've already ended the relationship with this cancer with this person out here whilst this person is like you know i mean what the hell is going on but right now you're both not being able to open up to each other so there looks like there is no communication between you both emotionally you both are shut off the root of the issue is the queen of the one queen of wands in reverse you know this could be another woman here okay this could be another person out here okay someone who's very dominating and having a very strong control over you or strong control over the person you're dealing with we'll find out but queen of wands in reverse is usually another person out here but otherwise it could just be you or someone being very very dominating out here okay just dominating jealous possessive insecure you know stuff like that your actions with the wheel of fortune i feel you are ready to get the ball rolling out here i feel you're ready to walk away from this person here you're trying to have a more positive aspect and it's like whatever changes have happened between you both after the breakup you're ready to take things forward and move forward in a positive direction it's more like you feel this was a very destined thing to happen okay and um you know it's like from your side i get more of that acceptance you know it's like well it is what it is and i just gotta do what i gotta do you're no longer resisting any changes out here okay you are making a very decisive there's a decisive moment out here things have been unexpected between you and this person out here okay but your relationship is probably changing here and you're making adjustments and trying to move forward the person you're dealing with right that's your feelings out here the person you're dealing with is the king of cups here so this person has a lot of love for you okay but they're still not taking any action towards you so this person no ha now has their shit together here after they have clarity about what they really wanted after you walked away they got the clarity that they wanted you hmm. nice so uh this person has a lot of love for you okay they do 
the action you plan on taking is i think you plan on to moving forward and keep looking on towards the future here because you have no time to invest into someone who's not at the same page with you and who's just not ready to give you what you want honestly i feel you're more focused on your career or more focused on your business or something like that rather than focusing on wanting to make a relationship work out this person out here has so much to say they have so much to tell you okay but they're just holding back and because they're holding back they're probably missing a lot of opportunities here this person has a lot of fear okay of what they want to say they're constantly doubting themselves okay second guessing themselves which is why they're missing opportunities out here the outcome here between you both is the world so there is a cycle that you both are closing okay there is an ending here but the endings bring new beginnings i'm about to start clarifying let's see why is the eight of cups here high priestess here there could have been something that was revealed to you which finally made you you know it's like made you uh force it kind of forced you to make a decision to walk away or whatever was relieved either there was a truth that was being re revealed or there was some secret that came out or there was some information that you got or there was just some kind of clarity that you got which was like yeah okay like an aha moment and i need to walk away seven of cups in reverse what's that nine of swords in reverse wow this person out here is a very negative thinker see they're very overwhelmed right now they're so overwhelmed they have no fucking clue what the hell is going on this person does not know how to make a choice you know this is someone here who's very 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 bad at making choices you know and i think with the nine of swords in reverse here this person here is you know they're in a very very bad position right now is what i'm getting here this person could be going through a lot of trauma all right and um it's like they have clarity about the situation probably that you walked away but i feel like this person here could have a lot of mental health issues here okay they're trying to find help they have a lot of guilt but they're learning to cope is what i'm getting here okay what's the ten of pentacles in reverse what's the ten of pentacles in reverse ten of pentacles in reverse that's in reverse yes yeah yeah even though even though there is no commitment between you both and probably the relationship has come to an end here this person is not ready to let you go or you are not ready to let them go here someone here has still not cut the connection off completely okay this person here refuses to let you go okay they're not gonna let you go they're not, and they're not even going to change so yeah they want to keep the cycle going on whilst you probably are pretty much done with them five of wands in reverse why is that yeah you're not doing anything about it here you feel like this is a sacrifice that is important that is needed out here okay in order for you to move forward in your life okay because this is too much drama this person brings in too much drama in your life and for right now you're just like you know what i'm done and um you're no longer investing into them you feel probably this is a connection that you shouldn't be investing it's bad investment but yeah you're not doing anything about it for you it's like i like i told you right this is more like an acceptance from your side but it's like you're just letting go you know you're no longer wanting to fight the odds out here okay you probably did feel very stuck and restricted in your life okay you realize that what was holding you back and what was holding you back is this connection of this person here this is someone who is preventing you from moving forward here okay so you're just surrendering and letting go right You're no more longer resisting your current circumstances. You're accepting them and allowing yourself to flow with life. Okay. Uh, what's the six of pentacles? What's the six of pentacles? Oh, the devil in reverse here. This person probably sees you as someone, you know, who's released yourself from this connection out here. Okay. They knew that this was a very strong connection out here. You both are very, very strongly tied to each other here. But with the devil here, it was a very toxic connection here. Okay. So they see you as someone here who has probably, you know, you could have even gone ahead and got engaged and married to someone else. That's also what I'm seeing here. Maybe you're giving to someone else. Okay. You're giving your attention to someone else and not them. Or probably you're giving them the attention and along with that, giving someone else attention. So probably they feel you're giving to two people together out here, okay? But with the devil in reverse here, they probably feel that this is a connection which is which was toxic and you've let it go or they've let it go. What's the ace of cups in reverse here? Ace of cups in reverse. Why is the ace of cups in reverse here? Uh, see you're both just in denial. That's what's oh, that's what's happening here. This is the mutual energy. I feel you're both kind of very confused. 
All right. Both of you are very confused. And I feel that instead of, um, you know, instead of, um, how do I say this? Um, instead of addressing the issue, instead of addressing the issue, I feel you're both going just very, very busy being closed off emotionally to each other, very busy in your own lives, trying to stay very busy in your day-to-day -day activities so that you don't have to think about what really went wrong in the connection. That's what I'm getting. You both have given up here. If it's a long-distance relationship, you both feel it's a failed long-distance relationship. The strength in reverse had to show its face. See, you're both tired of dealing with the situation. No one's making the effort here to try and get back to each other. Queen of Wands in reverse here. Why is that here? Yeah. Why is the Queen of Wands in reverse? Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah. I think uh, you're trying to heal. I think you're trying to heal from the situation here, okay? You're being passive, you're not taking action anymore. Because this person made you feel very, very insecure, very unprotected in this connection out here. And I think you're just trying to move on. You're just releasing yourself from the situation, no longer wanting to work out it. Three of Swords and Reverse is also part of, you know, just wanting to heal, forgive, and move on. And I think that's what you're doing here with the hangman here. Uh, what's the wheel of fortune because see there's a lot of moving forward from your side okay what's the wheel of fortune here in your feelings what's the wheel of fortune here in your feelings cancer yeah see you're moving on babe you're moving on that's what i said you're okay well you're done with this it's just too much drama and that's the last thing that you want in your life so that's what's happening here you're just ready to let this go no longer wanting to hold on to it if it doesn't make you happy you don't have any time and energy to invest in it anymore some of you may even have gone ahead and got engaged or just started dating or just you know got into a relationship with someone else because that's how they view you as giving to two people here but you're moving forward here okay you're being very very practical and realistic out here and in your feelings it's like you want to move forward okay you want to it's like you think that's the right thing to do and it's destiny and you're accepting the change that has happened in this relationship whether it's a breakup separation whatever it is you're accepting it happily and you're just going with the flow king of cups here in this person's feelings why is the king of cups here why is the king of cups here <laughs> they want to talk they want to talk with a page of wands here they're not happy without you ten of cups in reverse there has been a breakup this person is not happy without you at all they want you they need you you were there happily they're, they're happily ever after and now they want to talk depends on whether you want to talk to them or not that's just up to you here but this person definitely wants to talk they want to come towards you with some passionate communication they've had a new approach of how they can come towards you but this person's probably isolated themselves they're very unhappy without you very unhappy you brought their wish come true and now they want to talk to you now they got their shit together finally after you moved on but you clearly don't look like you want to talk to them because with the queen of swords you're ready to chop this person's head off let's see queen of swords that's your action why is the queen of swords here why is the queen of swords here seven of wands yeah see your cards are up babe your cards are up you are least interested in this person you're giving up you're turning your back to this person here or already have i feel a lot of you have completely moved on to another relationship is also what i'm getting here your you your defenses are up okay you don't trust this person you don't want to get to this person you don't want this person anywhere close you've just isolated yourself or you're just guarding yourself okay I think you're just, uh, you could have blocked this person on social media or energetically blocked them, okay? It's like, stay away, you know, like, just, just back off is what I'm hearing from your side here. You're just not interested in them. Knight of Swords in reverse is their action here. Why is that? Hmm. See, this person's a coward is what I'm getting here. Could be someone who's a player, could be a cheater, could be someone who is a commitment phobe here. But this person has love here, so I won't say that this person is a cheater. Uh, but I would say that this person here lacks the initiator. This person lacks the courage. 
they lack the confidence in making the decision to come towards you and make things happen this person is very very laid back you know they're not taking the initiative they don't have the balls to come towards you or just you know come towards you and just like like hey i love you you know like let's just make this happen they're lacking the courage they're still not being able to take the lead role out here okay they feel very powerless and it's a very that's like a very weak person out here okay compared to you and which is why you're quite fed up with the world here i feel there's an ending here you're closing the chapter with this person what's the world here what's the world what's the world this person you know they they lack the daring you know that they're not being able to make that bold daring decision out here the world here what's the world why is the world here is the outcome Page of Swords, yeah, I see this person here, this is going to keep watching you from a distance here, thinking about what to tell you, what to keep telling you. But I think you're off, you're out with the Empress in reverse here, you're no longer feeling this connection because you feel it's going nowhere. Whatever you do, no matter how much you will try to go away, this person is still on your ass, okay? They're not going to let you go, you can have your defenses on here. But this person out here is just ignoring the situation for right now eventually i feel they will come towards you because they're still watching you they want to communicate with you they have a lot of love for you but the only part here is which is the fucked up part and the most important part is where's the action buddy knight of swords reverse king of wands reverse all the cards are saying like they're like just holding back they're holding back completely if they would have not held back and if they would have you know tried to take control of the situation and showed a little bit of boldness and a little bit of daring and you know like that uh, a little bit of um bravery things could have worked out even better here okay but right now i feel that this person here is just um they they have control issues this person wants to control the relationship i don't feel there is any relationship anymore between you both here but i feel this person is just trying to you know um hold the relationship in a way they can okay by probably forcing you or putting like you know pressurizing you in some sort or trying to just teach you a lesson or just trying to hold back trying to play games or something like that out here you know 